As a GIS administrator, I got a call overnight to urgently set up a portal, uh, an ArcGIS Enterprise install, and that should have all the users from my division added to the appropriate groups and with content from their assigned area for them to work on. I used Chef, which is an IT automation tool that makes it very easy to install and configure software to set up this ArcGIS Enterprise system. And we now provide you the cookbooks that you can download and help install your system. So I downloaded the ArcGIS Enterprise cookbook, and I had to specify where the different set of files are, what authorization credentials to use, and so on. And Chef went ahead and cleaned up my system, installed IIS, installed ArcGIS server, the web adapter, data stores, portal, and configured them all to work together. It's a lot of work, and it takes about an hour, but all I had to do was call this one command. So going to my ArcGIS portal, and uh, I see that there's only one user, and that's me. And switching to the Groups tab, there are no groups here yet. So let me kick off the scripts that are using the Python API to populate this portal with users, groups, and content. And while the scripts are going on, let's have a quick look at what they are doing. The scripts are data-driven off that CSV file. The create group script opens the CSV file, and for each group in there, calls gis.groups.create, and the groups are created. The create users script does something similar, except that in addition to creating the users, it adds those users to the appropriate groups. And finally, the publish content script publishes CSV files as hosted feature layers, composes and creates a web map that's using that feature layer, adds it as an item using gis.content.add, and assigns it along with the layer to that user. And note that while it's doing it, I've also specified that it should use collector as one of the type keywords. And what that does is that when the content is added, the field inspectors could go out and uh, uh, bring out their devices, and they'll be ready to work on this web map. So let's see how far my scripts have progressed. And I see that they're done creating the groups. They're currently adding the users. And they'll be working on the content soon. So going to my portal home app and refreshing the page, I see that all the groups have been created along with the thumbnails and the metadata that I specified. And all the users have been added. Uh, soon we'll have a portal that's ready to go with users, groups, and content. And all I had to do was run a couple of scripts. <laughs> 